Today, we will be going over how to turn this plain Jane Blender model into something amazing using the power of Substance Painter. I'll show you the steps and process I used to add details to my model that would have taken hours to add and export them. So let's go ahead and hop into Substance Painter. Now with Substance Painter open and our model loaded, we have the base textures already dialed in. If you're lost and have no idea how to add base materials, go ahead and check out my previous Substance Painter video where I break down how to add Substance Base material. Alright, so let's start with adding some details to the soul. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a plain material. We're going to make sure we remove the color, opacity, everything, and only leave the height and the normal. Now that's very important. Now, once we have them all shut off, go ahead and search for a diagonal texture, which we'll use to drive the height map. Now, with the height map already loaded, you can see that it doesn't come in scale. So we need to go ahead and scale that all the way down to you like what you see. And you can scale it down by dragging the corners. And also, you can change the orientation of it. But for this example, it's good just being straight. All right, and if we look to the side, you can see that the texture is being applied all over the sole and we don't want that. So what we need to do is add a black mask and paint in the areas that we're actually going to use. So as you can see, what we're painting with white is what's going to be revealed. Go ahead and keep painting all the areas you do. You can do this with your mouse. I have a drawing tablet. I prefer a drawing tablet over the mouse. You have finer control over that. Now you can see we're moving on to the sides and everything, making sure that we're getting those details nice and crisp with the straight lines. Now a tip that you can use when you're actually painting in the mask is just go slow. You don't need to rush it. Go slow and also hit X to switch to the black paint and you could just erase what you don't want. Now that we got the sides cooking, let's go ahead and start working on the midsole. In the midsole, we're going to be using this diagonal diamond pattern, as you can see right here. So go ahead and scale that bad boy down into the desired look. And you can also mess with the parameters to get different variations of the diamond texture that you can see here. Now, once we do that, we, it's the same process as when we're doing the sole. You want to add that mask and go ahead and paint the areas of which you want to be revealed. Just going over it nice and slow, making sure it looks very tight. Now moving on to adding some more details to the sole, which is adding these lights, little thin lines. Sometimes you mess up, but that's fine. All you can do is try different variations and different techniques on how you want to achieve this look. So sometimes you can go from left to right or right to left. As you can see in this example right here, go ahead and erase the imperfections and go ahead and redo it again. Now, another tip, let's say, for example, you don't have a drawing tablet and you only have a mask. One tip that you can use when doing this is shift, click, and that will make a straight and perfect line for you, as you can see in all these examples right here. And just make sure to clean those imperfections that you do and go ahead and finish out your texturing. Now, just look around, make sure you're adding some complexities with your details. Once you have everything set up, it's very simple. Just drag and click, drag and click. Now, moving on to the stitches, we want to go ahead and search for that stitch brush. And once we click it, you want to use a paint layer instead of a fill layer. So once you've got it all set up and all dialed in, if you look to the right side of the screen and the properties, you have puncture intensity, seam intensity, a lot of different variations that you can do. So go ahead and dial it down. You can go ahead and copy these parameters exactly how I have them. You will have the same results. And then we just want to go over our leather with the stitches just to add that detail. So go ahead nice and slow. Make sure it's not janky and all over the place. And you just want to keep continuing all around until you have a perfect stitch around the model. So now that we have the first couple stitches done, now let's go ahead and move towards finishing the other panels of the shoe. Now, once you got everything good, the stitches, the details and everything, now you wanna export it. Go to file, export textures, and go to settings. Click right here to open your folder and select what folder you wanna add your textures to then hit select folder. Now, once you do that, we're using the PBR metallic roughness. 
Now we don't need the emissive and we don't need the metallic. So go ahead and X those out. And then we want to change the normal. I explained this in the last substance video. So go ahead and click that again. And then go ahead and hit export. Export it. Let's go ahead and hop into Blender. Go ahead and delete the textures that you have and hit Shift Control T with the Node Wrangler add-on. And go ahead and Shift Control the textures for that for that exact piece of the shoe that you're going to be using. Now, once we have it added in, go ahead and make sure that everything is connected properly and then repeat this step for the other textures in your shoe and you should get something that looks like this. Now, so we're just gonna repeat this step until we have all the textures. Shift Control T, so Shift click Lace. And this is why it's important also to name your models so when you're going from Sustance to Blender, you're always organized. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at the final product of what we did. So from Sustance Painter, we added details in the sole, added details with the stitching, and this is the final product. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like, and leave in the comment section below what other videos you would like to see. Other than that, have a blessed year.